Hello, hello, welcome to Shady Why. I'm Marilyn, and today we have a Sterling um, lot from our local jewelry auction. If you haven't been here before, my name's Marilyn, my husband's name's Barry, and we are resellers. We sell online on multiple platforms, and we also offer these items to you, our YouTube subscribers. All you have to do is be sure to be a subscriber to our channel, um, if you see something you're interested in, send us an email to one shadyandy at gmail.com. We send you a PayPal invoice in your email to us. Just be sure that you send us a timestamp screenshot, a description of the items that you're interested in. Shipping is $5 in the United States based on, uh, or $5 in the United States under a pound. Anything over a pound or outside the United States is based on where you're located and how much it weighs. So these are some cool pieces. I have new pieces to show you and I also have a quick um, clearance section for you. So first off, I'm gonna push these out of the way. Hope everybody's doing great today. Okay, here we have a um, abstract with amber and turquoise. It looks like it has three types of amber and um, I think these are reconstituted amber, if I had to guess, um, because that's what it looks like. I mean, it's beautiful, definitely. Gorgeous piece. It is on a, like a satin rope. It is two and a quarter inch by one and a quarter inch. And then it's quite, um, like a, um, I'm telling you, my mind is blank already tonight. Um, it is on a curved outward. So what is that called? Not inverted. <laughs> um, and it looks like it is a five eighths of an inch wide um, or thick. So I'm gonna say, let's do 25 for the amber piece. Um, the next piece we have is this one also um, amber and turquoise. There's the back. It's marked here 925 and it is sterling. I did test all the sterling in these. And on this one, I'm going to say, let's do, um, $20. And this one is, um, one and seven eighths of an inch by, uh, three fourths of an inch. And this is on a slight, um, curve and it is I'm going to say three eighths of an inch and these are like I said abstract and not vintage um, these are current pieces and there's what that one looks like there's the back now the next one we have is this one and we have a Mabe pearl with let me turn on the um, a gemstone tester and see if these are gemstones or just crystals. Um, it is signed right here. It says SI925. It is uh, three and an eighth of an inch. This is pretty. I like the blue in it. By um, one and three eighths of an inch. That pearl is beautiful. Um, it does look like um, the end of it. See how it looks like there's a part of the um, the creamy part or the, I can't remember what that's called, is off the top. I think that's why it's so blue. Okay, it's been calibrated, so let's see what it says. Okay, so that goes up to the jadeite line, but sometimes that might be spinel also, even though spinel is later, but sometimes it, I'd be more inclined to that. That one's amethyst. And then this one kind of has like a bluish green tint. Goes to the end of the cryophase emerald 
nephrite, tanzanite, or the, um, it's like right in the center of everything. So I'm not sure what it is. And this one is spinel or um, topaz. I'm gonna guess it's a topaz, um, but that's the back of them. So that wasn't very helpful, except for the fact that we know it's a gemstone. <laughs> And on this one, I'm going to do um, 25, since it um, does have that ridge there. Um, I'm gonna do 25, and it is gorgeous on the side. It does have this um, nice work on it, nice open work on the sterling, and it's a nice weighted piece. So 25 on that one. and. There's the back of it, and it has, where it has movement on each level, and it is gorgeous. It has amethyst, um, druzy quartz, citrine, um, amethyst, um, garnet, um, emerald, uh, topaz. This is a beauty. And when it's laying up against your body, it looks like so but it does have movement, but each piece has movement in it. And on this one, it is three and a three fourths of an inch by, I'm gonna say seven eighths of an inch, and then it is uh, a quarter deep. And on this one, I'm gonna say 75. Isn't that gorgeous? I love this. Here we have a mother of pearl bracelet um, with a, it's sterling silver, as all these pieces have been. Um, this is a lobster clasp. It is seven and a quarter inch, and they are beautiful marquee cuts. So this is a beautiful panel bracelet. There's the back, it's all sterling silver. And on this one, we're going to say $25. Um, this is uh, lapis. And um, this hits at the tanzanite uh, tourmaline level, and I'm not sure what it is, it's just pretty. And um, it is earrings. There's the back. It's signed 925 um, CY. And I'm not sure what that is. Aren't those gorgeous? I love these. It is two inches by three fourths of an inch. There are no backs on these. So I will put um, silicone backs on them. They are uh, gorgeous. So on these, I'm going to say $25. These are pretty. These are, let's see if these are signed 925. That's it. Um, these are nice and weighted. Um, it has peridot, garnet, and amethyst. They are an inch and five eighths by a quarter inch by a quarter inch. There you go. Aren't those really nice? Um, and again, they have movement and um, on each gemstone. Love that. And the different sizes of the gemstone. I'm going to say on this one, let's also do $25 sterling silver. Okay, these are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I believe that um, these are signed on the back, or I know these are signed on the back, 925. And then, um, so it has a sterling um, ball here, and then it has six gemstones. It has a coral, tiger's eye, lapis. I believe this is spiny oyster. 
Um, I believe this is Gaspiite and Turquoise. Aren't those stunning? I think these are just amazing. Um, sterling silver earrings, and I love these. So I'm gonna say $35 on these. Gorgeous. This one's pretty. This is a pendant. It's signed 925. This is nicely weighted. Um, it has um, lapis and garnet. The silver work on this setting is just beautiful. I love all the twists and turns, um, but it is really a cool look. I love that. How it looks. I don't know why that's coming in blurry, but that's how it is. This piece is one and a half inches by one inch. And it looks like it has a V or maybe that's just a symbol on the bail. And um, oh, let me give you how thick it is. It's a little over a quarter inch. And on this one, I'm going to say, let's do for the sterling garnet and lapis pendant, I'm gonna do a $50. Um, we have some box chains here. Um, let's see. This one is 20 inches. And I'm going to do um, $22 on the 20 inch sterling silver box chain. We have a Eighteen inch, and this one is also a box chain, and I'm gonna do um, twenty dollars on the eighteen inch sterling silver box chain, and then we have a sixteen inch with a inch and a half extension, and I'm going to say let's do. Um, 15 on the um, 16 inch with the extension box chain. And this is a really small box chain. First off, we have this Taxco 950 elephant pendant. This is really pretty. It is Mexico Taxco V02950, so a little better than Sterling. It has the oxidized center and a um, textured frame and there's a really cool design this is two inches with the bell by one inch and it is going to be eighteen dollars and with the final clearance cell that means they're not going to come back anymore after that the next piece we have is this sterling um signed Mexico 925 um, Mosaic Jasper Heart. Um, and there's the back, there's the front. It is an inch and a half by an inch. And we're gonna say $12 on the Mosaic Jasper. This one is a gorgeous Peridot um, Sterling Silver Pendant. It is great, however, it has two missing Peridot um, uh, stones. Uh, the back is signed 925 on the bale. It is a beautiful color. It is one inch by uh, five eighths of an inch. Oh, let me give you how thick that one is. It is three eighths of an inch. So on this one, we are going to do only $7. And that is sterling and that is Peridot. Next we have um, this um, Ross Simmons Cubic Zirconia graduated pendant, sterling silver. It is a um, yesterday, today, and forever um, pendant. It is seven eighths of an inch, and at the widest, it is three eighths of an inch. So there's the back, there's the front, very purse, and there's the bail. It's a built-in bail. 
And on this one, we're going to do just $12 for the Sterling Silver Cubic Zirconia by Ross Simons. Next, we're doing these glass dichor, dichroic glass earrings. And um, one of our um, subscribers told me how to say it. I told y'all how to say it. I forgot how to say it. And another subscriber said, I said, <laughs> this is how I say it. So it's di crow, like the crow and ick. So very cool. <laughs> Thank you everybody for helping us out and me out, especially because I have the shortest memory. I appreciate you all. So there it is. Um, it is sterling silver with this great swirl pattern, this beautiful blue, pink, or blue, red, and clear or white earrings. These are a inch and three fourths by three fourths of an inch. And on these, I am going to say $12. There's the front and there's the back. This still is one of my favorite pieces. Um, it's a sterling silver pendant and it is a fossilized coral and it um, is floating. So that is really cool. I love this modern design. Um, reminds me of uh, the 60s and 70s. And this is two inches and um, seven eighths of an inch at the widest. And on this one, I'm going to say just $12. These are Silpata, and they are really cool circles and then a wide circle. It's slightly hammered. It is signed Silpata on the back, 925. Um, there you go. The drop on these are An inch and seven eighths by an inch and three eighths and on these I'm going to say that's the back that's the front not only are they signed right here they're also signed here and I'm gonna say 15 on the Sopata earrings these are spinel sterling silver open work love these these are beautiful there's your back it is signed 925 and roma uh copyright those are beautiful it is an inch by five eighths of an inch and on these um spinel um sterling open work earrings i'm gonna do twelve dollars Here we have the liquid silver um, earrings with turquoise beads. Um, these are really, really cool design on those. Um, but these have a drop of two and a half inches and at their widest, they are an inch. So on these liquid silver earrings, I'm going to do $12. The last three pieces we have are this um, sterling silver Mexico um, pink cat's eye pendant. It's marked on the back, Mexico 925. Um, it is a bezel set pink cat's eye. It is an inch and an eighth by a half inch by a quarter inch. And on this one, I'm gonna say just $8. This is um, a 500 silver pink um, thurite, I think is how you say it, um, which is a really cool little design. It's very heavy, um, pendant, really nice open work veil. It is 
two and a half inches by an inch and a quarter and it is at the thickest a quarter inch i'm going to say eight dollars on that one and our last piece is this sterling cutout glass pink pendant it is signed on the back and it says 925 wrt and um there's the cage so it is cool it is faceted it is an inch by a half inch by three eighths of an inch and i'm going to say just six dollars for this sterling piece so there you go what do you think i think these are some gorgeous pieces of course i have my favorite um i really really love um these um gemstones I love these because of the cool difference between the cool green color and the lapis. Um, this, I always gravitate toward garlic and lapis together. I think that's a great look. And I think these gemstones are just gorgeous. So hopefully you found something that interested you. Um, thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with us. We would love to hear from you and let us know what you think. Are you enjoying my final clearance items um, before I take them back to the auction and offer them to you? Hope um, everybody will be sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe below, and we will see you on the next one. Bye!